I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to create this easy, simple wiggle effect inside Premiere Pro. And the best thing is, this plugin that we're gonna be using is absolutely free. So go check this out in the link in the description. And if you guys want to use proven frameworks to upgrade your workflow and save countless hours by not just me, but uh, um, countless other people, go check that out. But without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. I have my frame right here. Let's just grab the text tool by going up to text, clicking. I'm gonna just do wiggle because we're writing a wiggle effect. Grab it. Ooh, if I can grab it, there we go. Stretch this baby out just like that. Go down to your align, line this so it's nice in the middle. Super easy. All you do is go down over to this beautiful, it's called Shake Sauce. Grab the shaky hands effect on constant. Make sure you do motion blur and mirror so then it looks really nice when it wiggles all over the place and it's not just really steady and it doesn't have that like motion blur that we need in life. So just click, click on the text layer. Make sure you're clicking on the text. Hit the check mark. It's gonna add it to it and now watch. Boom, now we have a nice simple wiggle effect. And if you guys want to spice it up just a little more, you can go over to this position and stuff and increase the amplitude. So it's just gonna make it a lot faster and frequency, it's gonna make it, the amplitude will make it like go around more and the frequency will increase how fast it is. So if you want something like this, where it's just everywhere and really aggressive, you can, but I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna, use what he has because it's just a great wiggle effect. The also other way that we can use and adapt to this is by creating our own, which I wouldn't recommend because why would you need to when you have this free plugin? It doesn't make any sense. But you also, if you guys don't want that, that's totally fine. Just go over here, hit this, it's gonna delete it. Now we have nothing. And you're gonna have to keyframe every single position. So hit P on your keyboard, it's gonna bring up all the positions. Click on the stopwatch, go about, ooh, I'd say like five frames ahead and barely move it downwards or right and upwards. Go next to the five position, move it left and downwards. Now they're five, I'd go downwards to left again. Next, go right upwards. Make sure you highlight all of them, right click. Go down to keyframe assistant and hit easy ease or use F9 to get this nice easy ease. And you'll get a rougher, rougher kind of wiggle just like that. And highlight all of them, copy and paste it next to the other one. You can kind of get that kind of wiggle effect. Mess it around a little more and it'll look a lot nicer. But it, honestly, just, man, just get the, the shake sauce. It doesn't, like why wouldn't you? It's a no-brainer. Also, you can add, let's say, if you want it to go side to side. Ooh, this actually looks good. Let's just get rid of all these. Click on the side to side, click on the text layer, hit check mark. It's gonna bring that up. Now we have a nice kind of wiggle side to side. That's pretty cool. And I'm and I'm also gonna be releasing my own presets that you guys want in Shake Sauce, so look down in the description too for that. If you guys wanna know more about this Shake Sauce plugin, check out this video right over here. Peace.